Uh, very excited to talk to our next guest. Look at these two young entrepreneurs right here from Montreal. I want to mention, too, tomorrow is Car Free Day all around the world. And, of course, we're always looking for alternatives. Well, they have come up with the alternative, and that is the Carbo. I'm joined by Lynn and Sebastian, co-founders of Carbo. Welcome to the show. It's great Thank to you. have you both here. You. So, uh, Sebastian, let me start with you. This is, this is a, an incredible concept that we're hearing more and more about is the e-bike. But where, did, where was this born? Where was this idea born from? Well... You know, uh, the idea where it comes from, well, you know, when we've been thinking a lot about uh, the environment, uh, different means of transportation, which currently rely almost completely on fossil fuels. So right. it's something that uh, actually concerns us all here, uh, the environment, which is a very hot topic right now with the global warming. So we had this idea to come up with a solution with, for, with a product that would... Uh, that would be useful for everyone without uh, taking away anything, you know, that right. would allow everyone to keep going to work, keep jogging, keep, uh, you know, do whatever they want, go camping and have something that could replace their cars or uh, anything that consumes uh, fossil fuels, right. which is bad for the environment. Well, Lynn, it's one thing to, to think of this as a great idea. It's another thing to come w up with the concept and then start putting it together. So can you sort of walk us through how you went from those starting ideas to creating this incredible, this sure, incredible yeah. vehicle? So uh, we've been in the electric industry, uh, in the electric bike industry for many years now. We've built a lot of e-bikes, but we still felt like something was missing. Right. I'm a folding e-bike user myself. I think it's such a, an efficient way because I live in a city, have a small apartment. So for me, a folding e-bike should be portable. And most folding e-bikes on the market are super heavy. Okay. So this is when we had to rethink. And, and this is when actually Carbo, the idea of Carbo came out. So then we needed a portable and light e-bike that right. anyone can use. And it fits perfectly into your urban commute. So then did you have to, uh, I imagine you have to then approach uh, other people, right, and manufacturers to get this off the ground. What is, what is that process like? Because it, it's, it's not a simple, you know, call up somebody and go, hey, I got an idea. Can you uh, manufacture No, this? it's not that simple. But for me, for instance, I'm always between Montreal and China. I speak okay. the language. We have uh, Chinese partners. So in terms of manufacturing, we're fairly solid. We have a lot of experience and, uh, yeah. Sebastian, who's your tar target market for this vehicle? Well, that's the thing. You know, when people think about electric bike, they immediately think uh, about it for, to be to, for old people, you know, people who can't bike. But that's not the truth. Uh, for me, for example, if I have to get to work early, I don't want to get to work sweaty on my right. shirt, on yeah. my suit. So the carbo is perfect for me because I don't have to, you know, push hard. If I want to exercise, I can just turn off the motor and just exercise like a regular bicycle. Right. So there's not really a specific target market, I would say. I think it's, it's uh, for everyone, I would say. Now Anyone it's can definitely for everyone. Like every, yeah. The new generation is hopping in. People are using the e-bike to get to university, to school, to yeah. work. And the way we created Carbo is to really fit perfectly into your urban life. So you have an option to have a belt drive instead of a chain. Okay. So when you get to your to work, you're not gonna like your pants will not be yeah. become dirty. And even like the whole conception of the Carbo, the batteries inside your seat post. So in terms of riding comfort, it's extremely wow. comfortable. It yeah. lowers down the center of gravity of the whole bike. The carbon material it offers more elasticity. So. The whole, every single detail in the Carbo has been well thought of, and our goal was to redefine what a folding e-bike should be, and this is when we Well, you mentioned it's folding. Can you, can you show us how uh, yeah, easy sure. it is to fold up, Len? Sure, sure. I'll just turn it all around so you guys can see me. So could you, you can obviously then bring this on the metro, you can bring it on, on the bus. Absolutely, and what's cool about Montreal now, you're allowed to bring a folding e-bike, a folding bike, about anywhere. Anywhere now? Absolutely, yeah. Okay. So... So what's the first, okay. First step, you take down the seat post. Yeah. So you just have, and these are just simple latches that you're doing. Absolutely. This, that's incredible. Number two. <laughs> and that's it. Whoop. Look at how easy that is. Yep. And Sebastian, you know, just and it's like super a, light. Look at that. 
<laughs> yeah, it's actually yeah. Uh, very, very light for an electric bicycle. It's probably the lightest uh, on, on, the, on market the market right, right now. now. Especially, yes. you know, one of the concerns, and it's the same with electric cars, is you know how long is my battery going going to last? Right. So you're saying this one, you you have to plug it, you have to recharge the battery. Yes. How, how many kilometers can you go on a, on a charge? Well, on a single charge, you can expect around 40 to 50 kilometers, depending on how you use the bicycle. Uh, and if you if you're depending going depending on uphill, the weight of yeah. the cyclist. Right, of yeah, course. If, if yeah, if you're heavier, well, it up, it's obviously going to impact how far you can go. Uh, right. If you have to go uphill or uh, mostly flat terrain, it's going to help you. For example, you, there's also a throttle, which in any case, if you don't want to pedal, you can always use it and be extremely lazy. <laughs> <laughs> which is good. I mean, Wait, in, in, yeah, in Montreal, the all, there's some hilly areas that, are, that can be a real struggle. Lynn, where, there. where is the bike available? Uh, the bike will be available on Indiegogo within the next few days. Okay. So whoever wants to check it out, it will be heavily discounted with $1,000 off for the earliest backers. And they can sign up at rightcarbo.com. Excellent. This well, way they'll be notified the minute we launch. It's incredible. Congratulations. What a great Thank success you. story right here Thank from Montreal. You. Really Thank appreciate you. you joining us here this morning. Thank you. Uh, don't go anywhere. Lots here to come. Of course, you can watch this interview and many more at btmontreal.ca. Your top news headlines coming up right here on BT.